So good afternoon and thank you to everyone that was able to find time on a busy afternoon after school to join us um, to learn more about Minogi. And I'd like to introduce Suzanne and Catherine and I will pass it over you, to you to give introductions uh, in more detail of yourself. Thank you, Christine, and uh, welcome and thank you to everyone who took the time out of their, I know, very busy schedules to join us this afternoon. Uh, in just a couple more weeks, hopefully you will be enjoying some summer vacation, which I know is very well deserved. Uh, my name is Catherine Connors. I am Binoki's Implementation Manager in Canada, and I'm joining you today from Halifax, Nova Scotia, which is where Binoki's uh, main production centre is located. Joining me today as well from uh, Sweden is Suzanne Olofsson. She is actually, I think, 8.30 at night for Suzanne right now. So she's enjoying her evening, I hope. <laughs> and also joining us from Benogi is my colleague, Jay Karik. And Jay is joining us from Kitchener, Ontario. So not that far from some of you today. My screen doesn't want to move now. Look at that. Oh, there we go. All right, so we have prepared a short agenda for you to guide today's agenda or today's session. We only have 30 minutes, so we'll try to get as much information in there as we possibly can. We will provide you with an overview of Benogi for those of you who are not familiar with what Benogi is. We're going to highlight what's new on Benogi's platform. We're going to look at some of the supports for teachers and students on Benogi's platform and then finish off with ways that you can access Benogi so that you can bring Benogi to your students in your schools. So for those of you who aren't familiar with Benogi, uh, Benogi is a digital multilingual learning platform. It originated in 2011 in Sweden, but the platform has changed quite a bit in the last 11 years. Um, we are on what we would call our fourth generation of development. The goals have remained the same for Benogi even over the, the 11 years where things have evolved and changed. And those goals really are to make learning opportunities accessible to students, regardless of their language of fluency, their mother tongue, and regardless of their prior uh, learning experiences. So if students join your school and their mother tongue is other than the language of instruction, Bonogi aims to make learning opportunities accessible for those students. And as well, we aim to support an equitable and an inclusive learning environment where students can access educational materials within the classroom without needing to be withdrawn for supports as typically uh, traditionally has happened. Uh, our video lessons on the platform are three to five minutes in length and we have now almost 700 video lessons on our platform. We provide audio, subtitles, transcript concepts and assessment for learning quizzes. Uh, students can select their preferred language to watch a video lesson and to complete a quiz. The majority of our content is intended for the intermediate division, that would be grades really six through to nine, so high junior grade six and into grade nine, with a focus on mathematics and science. New content is added to the platform every week, and this year alone, since September of 2021, until now, we've added over 100 video lessons to the platform. While Benogi originated in Sweden, it is an international company, and we operate in Sweden, in Germany, in Finland, in Kenya, and in Canada, and our main production studio is here in Canada, in Nova Scotia. So you might be wondering what's new at Benogi. Benogi is a living platform. It's always changing. It's always evolving. But all the development on our platform is informed by user feedback, as well as feedback from our research team at OISE. Although we have research teams around uh, the world in every uh, country where we operate in Canada, we work very closely with our research team at OISE. So some of the things that you will notice that are new at Benogi, if you've looked at our platform recently, is that we have added geography content. The geography content that is added on our platform uh, is intended to support the curriculum, the social studies curriculum in grades seven and eight. 
So previously we offered mathematics and science curriculum intermediate division. And now we've also added the geography content specifically for grade seven and eight. You will also notice that on our platform, we have included some new languages. So when I started working with Bonogi, there might have been, I think, nine or 10 languages on the platform. And now we have 11, uh, sorry, 15 languages on our platform. We have recently added Ukrainian, Turkish, and Russian subtitles on our platform. The Ukrainian, Russian, and Turkish subtitles have been added with auto translation. We've used artificial intelligence to translate those uh, subtitles, but rest assured, we have put in place an extra layer of proofreading to ensure the accuracy of academic vocabulary. And this is really important. We know to classroom teachers, it's also really important to Benogi. You will notice that a lot of the languages on the platform are the languages of refugee children. Languages like Arabic, uh, like Somali, Dari, Tigrinya, and now of course the addition of Ukrainian, Russian, and Turkish. So you can see here that the auto translation is indicated in brackets after Ukrainian, Russian, and Turkish. If a language does not have that indicator next to it, it means that a real person, a language expert, a subject expert has provided that translation. And that is the case for almost all of the languages on the platform with the exception of Russian, Ukrainian and Turkish. But as I said, we are taking very uh, carefully planning and putting proofreaders in place to ensure accuracy of that academic vocabulary. We are hoping in the future that we will be able to add as well the audio in Ukrainian, Russian, and Turkish for our students. So imagine if every student in the world could succeed in school, right from the start, right from the beginning. Bonogi would love to produce video lessons for every subject, in every country, in every language, in every curriculum. Imagine having a tool that students love to use and that teachers can use to help them, to support them with their instructional practice. Bonogi has an asset-based approach to learning, to teaching and learning. We look at language as a resource, language as a scaffold for conceptual development. We want to teach, a new concept in a familiar language, and we want to teach a new language in context. Bonogi is committed to making learning opportunities available for students, regardless of their fluency in the language of instruction. We are committed to supporting an equitable and an inclusive learning environment where students don't need to leave the classroom to access the learning supports that they may need. We are also committed to developing and refining, engaging uh, learning opportunities and video lessons for students where students will see themselves and their language reflected in the learning environment. We're committed to providing quality curriculum-based content. And certainly we are committed to ongoing development with our research partners, in particular in Canada, our research partners at OISE. We have a number of scaffolds in place that are research informed to support student learning. These are scaffolds that as ESL teachers or teachers of multilingual learners that you were very familiar with. We offer engaging visuals through animated video lessons. And we believe that these animated video lessons are more engaging than static images in a textbook. We offer language input in both the mother tongue as well as the language of instruction. And we offer language input that is both visual and auditory for students. Students can select their preferred language to watch a video lesson and to complete a quiz. I know we've heard from teachers in Waterloo Catholic earlier this year about how Benogi was helping them to shift to a translanguaging pedagogy. And I know many teachers are looking for a resource that will help them to do that. 
Binoki is an effective resource for both in-person and virtual learning environments. There are opportunities for students to preview content, to practice, to review, to monitor their own comprehension through the assessment for learning quizzes, and to consolidate their learning. A teacher might choose to use Bonogi to introduce a concept at the beginning of a class, or maybe they're going to use a Bonogi video lesson or a quiz with students as an exit ticket, which would then inform their instructional steps the next day. It is recommended that Binogi would be used at least three times a week in a classroom with students in a purposeful way so that students become very used to using it and teachers can embed it into their teaching practice on a regular basis. We would also encourage that students are using Binogi regularly for their own independent work, both in school and at home. The majority of our content is based on the intermediate division, mathematics and science. And as I said, we have recently added geography content. But for this purpose, then we've curated a collection of what we call Bonogi books. Now our Bonogi books are not textbooks. They're not based on a textbook. They're actually based on curriculum documents. These particular Bonogi books are based on Ontario curriculum documents where we have looked at what video lessons map back to which strand, overall expectation, and even specific expectations. We are actually in the process right now, thanks to our research partners at OISE, of creating new Bonogi books based on the new science curriculum that we know will come into effect in Ontario in September. So there are a number of opportunities and ways for schools, school boards to become involved and to engage with Bonogi. I know that we have heard this year from our research partner, uh, partners, OISE, and members of our research team. We've heard from Dr. Emmanuel lupichon Wortsman. We've heard from Dr. Jim Cummins, Dr. Daniel Water, Vivian Lee. Uh, all of these individuals have been involved with Bonogi and engaging in research projects with Bonogi. Researchers have shared information about multilingual technologies, about translanguaging pedagogy, uh, supporting multilingual learners and content areas like mathematics. OISE has been a tool that has been used to support research and work with teachers. Um, through research projects with Bonogi. So this is one opportunity to become involved and engaged with Bonogi. Uh, OISE is our main research partner in Canada, but we do have research partners in every country where we operate. So there would be research partners in Germany, in Sweden, in, Sweden, in Finland, and certainly our OISE research team here in Canada. If you are interested in engaging in a research project with Bonogi, you need to be aware of the time commitment. While it is important to you know, get the permission forms and the surveys and work with students to complete their surveys and even parents, the parent interview, the teacher interview, the student interview, our research team needs access to these interviews and this information in order to actually complete the research projects. So there is a commitment on part of teachers who want to take part uh, in a research project and use Bonogi in that way. Um, but there are a number of benefits, even though there are time commitments, there are benefits. You have access to Bonogi for the duration of the research project, but that access is for a specified number of users. So a classroom teacher with his or her students, it's not the whole school, it's not the whole school board, but a limited number of users who are engaged in that research project. You've probably also seen, if you've watched some of the other recordings or attended the sessions with Ergo, um, the Escape Projects website, which is very connected to Binogi's website. And I've put a link to it here today, and we'll share that again with you later on. It will be in the recording, certainly, Great resources there. And again, this is through our collaboration with our OISE research team. So this is one way that you can engage with Bonogis through a research project. If you are interested in this avenue, you can contact uh, our OISE research team directly, or you can contact any one of us here at Bonogi. And our contact information will be on one of the last slides that I'll share with you today. Uh, and we can connect you to the right person as well. 
But if you are interested in engaging directly with Benogi, then there are opportunities for you as well to explore Benogi. And so I'm going to go over what some of these options are. So the Benogi Explorer, this is the person who has created a free account on our platform. They don't have a license, they haven't purchased anything, uh, but they've just gone on the platform and created an account and anybody can do that. Uh, and many of you have probably done that, just created your own accounts and you're using it as a Benogi Explorer. But what you've discovered is that you have limited access to about 10% of the content as a Bonogi Explorer. You have access to all the subjects and all the languages, but only 10% of what's available for you on the platform. If you are a Bonogi Explorer, then you don't have a teacher account, which means that you don't have access uh, to the teacher site and the features that would be part of that. As a Bonogi Learner, you can purchase uh, a one-year license with Bonogi, but this is a license that is not intended for school use. This is a license that is intended for personal home use. So if there is a family with a child and they would like to purchase a Bonogi account for their, their child to work at home, to practice at home, then this would be ideal for that person, that family. Uh, you would have access to all languages, all subjects, all videos, and all quizzes. But there is no teacher account with the Bonogi Learner personal account. This is intended, as I said, for home use only. Um, the other piece to keep in mind, if a student is in a school uh, or a school board, let's say like Waterloo Catholic, where there is a license to use the product, the student does not need to buy the Bonogi personal account. They can use the account in school and at home. So this is intended for someone who doesn't have a license through their school or their school board, but they would like to use Bonogi. It would be a one-year license that you would purchase for the Bonogi Learner personal account. And the information for this and the links to access this are all provided on our website. The next option that's probably of most interest to the people who are here today is for the Bonogi teacher. And this would be the class or the school license. With the Bonogi teacher and the class license, you have a license which is up to 50 user accounts. Teachers can access the teacher site. You can access all of the video content, all of the languages, et cetera. And with the teacher site, then you have access to looking at student results on the assessment for learning quizzes. We would also provide you with an introductory workshop uh, with the school license account. And this information is also provided for you on our website. So if this is an option that you're interested in, then the Bonogi school license for a one year term is an excellent option. The next option that I'm going to cover for you is the Bonogi Partner. And what this really means is that it is a school board license. So all schools within a school board have access to Bonogi. All students, all teachers can access Bonogi within the school board because it's a school board license. So you have access to all of the subjects, the languages, the videos, the quizzes, all of that. You get the introductory workshop, but you also get ongoing professional learning. You get updated student reports and student usage reports and statistics on an ongoing basis. You have access to research opportunities and you become part of our international learning community. If your school board purchases um, a school board license, you are a Bonogi partner, then you really become part of what we call our digital engagement project. And this is a three year partnership. So the Bonogi partner is invested with Bonogi for three years. Uh, in this three year project and three year partnership, it is collaborative and goal driven. So Bonogi would work together with the school board to determine what are the goals, what are the targets, what are we aiming for, and it is a very scaffolded approach to implementation with Bonogi. So throughout the three years, 
all schools, all teachers, all students have access to Benogi, but we implement on a scaffolded basis. So for example, in year one, a school board might identify 20% of the schools that they want to focus on for implementation in semester one, term one, term two, semester term, term one, term two. The same in year two, now it's going to be 50% recommended implementation and in year three, 80% implementation. I can tell you that the plan is revisited regularly, frequently. It's updated quite a bit as we work through because it is very much a collaborative process where we work together with the school board to make the decisions about where you want to implement Benogi with which students and at what point in time. But keep in mind, all students in all schools and teachers have access throughout the three years. So people can jump in earlier than they were intended with, in, with respect to implementation, which indeed has been the case uh, in the school board that we've been working with, uh, with Waterloo Catholic. I would like to point out to you though, another option for you to consider, um, and that's a multi-school license. And this is a special pricing campaign that you have probably heard about from either me or Suzanne or Jay. And I know that there have been a lot of emails sent. And there have been a lot of phone calls that have been made. And it is a limited time offer. It is a very special pricing model and, and a good price point for a multi-school license. This offer is only valid until the end of June of this year. So there's like about two weeks, two and a half weeks left. And this offer will no longer be available. Uh, but you would have access to everything that you would get within a regular school license, except this now is no longer one school, but it can be across two or three schools. And that is the, the key piece for the multi-school license. We need a minimum of two schools within your board, uh, and it is a one-year license. So if you were to sign something uh, next week, you would have access until the end of next school year. So till the end of June, 2023. So this is a really great opportunity for teachers to try out Benogi uh, in their school or the two schools or three schools that they are support supporting. This might be ideal for itinerant DSL teachers, for example, who are supporting in multiple schools or in a school board where they have need in particular schools, but don't want to buy a whole school license for one school only, would rather engage in the multi-school license. So I would really encourage you to consider this. Go back to the emails that you've received and uh, look for that information because time is running out. I hate to tell you, it is a limited time offer and it will expire on June the 30th. I meant to mention earlier and I did not, uh, so I apologize. I don't know if it ended up in our chat. We wanted to offer teachers who joined us today uh, six weeks of free access to Benogi. So there is a link I'm hoping in the chat. If it's not in the chat, Christine's smiling, so I think it's there. If it's not in the chat, you can scan the QR code that's on your screen right now. And this will provide you an opportunity to use Benogi for six weeks. And we will ensure that you have full access, not just as a Benogi Explorer, but that you can actually see everything on the website, including the teacher's site, for the next six weeks. That will bring you to the end of July. And a great opportunity for you to take a look at the platform, to see what's there, and to make some decisions for yourself and for your school board, your school, moving forward. So scan that QR code and fill out our Google form, and we'll make sure you get that access. I mentioned earlier that I would leave you with our contact information. Uh, so if you have any questions about anything that you have heard here today, if you are interested in becoming a Benogi teacher through a school license or bringing the Benogi partner conversation to your school board, please reach out and let us know. If you are interested in that multi-school license, please make sure you contact us very soon because that is a limited time offer and we don't want you to miss out. Our contact details are there, whether you reach out to me, to Jay or to Suzanne, 
whoever has reached out to you in the past, or if none of us have, pick a name, and we are more than happy to connect with you. I'm not sure if there are any questions, and if there are, um, maybe Suzanne, you can read them out, or Christine, you can read them out to us, and I think, Suzanne, your hand is raised, so go ahead. Yes, thank you, Catherine. That's uh, exactly what I was going to do, if that's okay, Christine, I saw here. A question, yeah? So there's a question, Catherine, for us here. Is there a way for pre-service teachers to access Binogi while they are in their teaching training program and school placements? Maybe something through the university libraries? It's an interesting question. I know that uh, our OISE team, they have been using uh, Benogi with pre-service teachers, and I know that's not necessarily in every faculty, um, but I know it has been happening through OISE. Uh, and a great question too, because uh, I think I said it earlier, at least I hope I did, Benogi is not meant to replace the teacher. The Benogi is not meant to replace good pedagogy. It's not meant to replace programs of study. It's meant to complement everything that you're doing. Um, so it, it's meant as a resource, as a tool that you can use to support student learning. Uh, so I think working with uh, faculties of education and having our pre-service students uh, using it would be amazing. Um, I know through OISE, we have that connection. If there are, uh, let's say, practice student teachers who would like to use Bonogi, I think they just need to reach out to us and we can probably help them out. So if there's anyone here who has student teacher in their classroom or one of you is a student teacher and you'd like, uh, reach out to us and we'll see what we can do to help you out because it would be an excellent tool for you to be able to use uh, when you're in your practicum. Thank you. And then we have another one here. It says, the question is, is there a maxim maximum number of schools for the multi-school license offer? No, there isn't. Uh, there's no maximum number of schools. There's a minimum number, two schools, but there's no maximum number of schools. And, and I might just jump in here uh, in regards to the digital engagement project that we are very proud to be able to offer to boards as, as uh, there's a uh, lots of learning within these three years from both sides. And I say that because uh, uh, being in Sweden and having been involved in this uh, project since 2015, we have the equivalent of uh, school board uh, here there are municipalities but we have over 103 of them now and some of them have uh, have signed their third year around so we have been collaborating now for uh, we're entering what the seventh year so um, yes so we have references over in in other countries as well to share if if anybody would like to we have uh, users in Canada and we have users in other countries. So if you're looking to talk to somebody who's used Binogi as part of a digital engagement project or a three-year partnership, uh, let us know and we can connect you to uh, whoever it is that you might need or want to talk to. There is a question. Questions? Yes, there is one saying, is there anybody from OCDSB right now who would like to work with me on getting OCDSB on board? That's Ottawa Carleton District School Board, if I'm not mistaken. Right. So uh, I, I don't know the answer to that question. I'm going to let someone else answer that. <laughs> no, but we are in contact uh, with uh, most boards. Uh, and uh, and, uh, and um, I would say uh, speak to colleagues and... Uh, talk around and contact us and we'll gladly support the, the, the way for, for informing correctly and, and, uh, and well the board what, what, uh, what this means somehow. As... Any other questions from anyone that's here? And I would say if, if you have colleagues that could not join us today, um, 
don't hesitate to share uh, that link to them as well if they could not access today but would like to have access to binogi these six, six weeks to to explore it and we'll post the recording for this on the Ergo website on the Ergo events page. So if people are interested and they couldn't make it tonight, they can look at the, the recording. And, and there are there is another recording uh, on that same page with the uh, Waterloo Catholic teachers talking about their experience using Benoki in the last year. So um, those are all on that same Ergo page. So on behalf of Ergo members, uh, I want to thank Suzanne and Catherine and Jay for coming tonight or uh, today and sharing more information about this platform that will engage multilingual learners um, with many experiences in many different countries in the, the Ontario curriculum learning. And we're excited to see the new languages being added and the new content that's being added and, and in the um, very large number, 700 videos that are available to students and teachers. So. Thank you so much for the information and thank you to all of the people that were able to join us this evening or this afternoon after school. Thank you to, uh, to you, Christine, and to all the Ergo membership for the opportunity. Um, we are very happy to share more information about Pinogi and as we said, reach out to us with questions if there are any.